This is a box I've been waiting for for some time, which means we get to open it. Completely replaces your shifter assembly. One, two, one lockout. Also has a carbon fiber shift knob. I didn't uh, really care for it. So we'll see how it feels, but man. Been waiting on this piece for a long time. So let's go install it. In order to get to this, you're gonna have to take off your shift knob. This was a custom piece made by Billet Works. It's just a uh, personal thing for me. It's for a brother who passed. Has some nice weight to it. I think it weighs a little over a pound. So that needs to be completely off, which means I need to take this piece off, which means I need to uh, go grab a wrench. For the OEM shifter, it's just gonna be the knob itself and you just twist it off. It's not that big a deal. There you go. Shift boot can move around. So you got a couple of those bolts or screws in there um, again my car is not 100% OEM so yours may be different but there's two little guys in there that you need to get out all right pulled those out then I'm going to lift up turns out I can't do it one hand there we go lift from the front up pull around Hey, look at that. Place your center console uh, somewhere out of the way. I don't have this bolted in. So down here will be two uh, bolts, one right there, one right there. And then uh, there should be one in here. However, I'm just taking them all out. Just for the ease of removal and installation, there should be one that lines up right there. You see that as it goes up and down? And I believe that's the last one if you were to do it from your car. From there, and just pull up and make sure this goes over the shift boot. Make sure everything's out of the way. Oh, and uh, then you have to disconnect these things. Just uh, disconnect this guy, and then uh, you'll be free to move it wherever. All right, so this part is going to be the journey for all of us. So this is your shifter, right, left, forward, back and forth. You're going to find some weird stuff under here due to previous owners, and that's honestly the worst part about Evos and buying cars these days are previous owners. So I'm going to try to disconnect uh, the cables from this guy and this guy underneath. Um, I'll disconnect those. Then I will remove uh, and pull these two up out of here and then uh, I will then uh, remove the four bolts. These two right here, and then these two right here. Probably gonna remove this uh, just for the ease of installation and uh, getting a good view of stuff. Probably have to anyway, so I'm just gonna save myself the time. So we got uh, these bolts out, this little metal guy out, and then uh, these linkages, all you gotta do is just pull them up and they come out. Um, you need a little pliers for this dude and this guy that goes on the bottom one just kind of wraps around. It's nothing uh, crazy to pull out. Um, and then you got those bolts down there. Those are 12 millimeters. Uh, the ones over there on that middle piece are tens. I'm going to now pull this out. I dare not do this uh, one-handed. Voila! I do have the Torx Solution uh, shifter bushings. Uh, nothing wrong with them. There's eight of them. This is the OEM shifter assembly. 
So before I install the CAE, let's put them side by side and see how they look. So you can obviously tell that the CAE shifter is uh, quite taller than the OEM assembly. I'll be reusing the bushings uh, on this guy. Not sure if I need to, but I'll do it anyway. Essentially this is it. Quite the difference, especially in quality. Um, you guys get the idea. Let's put it in. I hope this is a good shot. I'd like to point out, um, I'm not sure how close I'm really going to be able to get as far as uh, video wise. These are moving metal parts. Definitely want to have a light coating on the ball of the shifter right here. This is just white lithium grease. Not anything, you know, fancy. You can find this at your auto stores. My suggestion would be to get out that, get the old grease out and then put in uh, new grease. Okay. So we got one kind of on and the other one kind of on. Okay, cool. I think we're getting somewhere. That kind of opens up the suck factor. I believe I just broke my shifter linkage, which and that really, really sucks. <clears throat> Jumping Jesus, man. Yeah. Yeah, that totally just busted. Let's see what happens next, shall we? I'm really surprised at myself. At the same time, I'm not. So at the end of your shifter, there's this little plastic piece. You're gonna need uh, to pull that off your old shifter. I'm so excited to throw on these parts that I kind of forget other steps. So the same thing I'm doing again. Just putting some grease in there. I'm going to grab this guy. I'm going to... Much easier to do it outside of the car. I'm just gonna move that around. I'm gonna put a little more grease on there just because I don't like how dry it looks. All right, we're gonna throw this guy right there. There we go, all right. So that is how the thing's supposed to look. That's how that guy's supposed to look. Interesting. I'm not liking how those are going to be touching. I finally got it all said and done, and then my battery died. So, this is how it is. You can adjust stuff up top. These uh, little screws right over here. So, there's that one right there. And then these two up here. I'm trying to get you guys a good view, but uh, these ones up here in the front, they control how much play you have going side to side. This one in the back is meant to be a lockout. So if you push this in all the way, you won't be able to go into the first and second row. So then you would have to pull on this to then have that guy pull back to then be okay. You can get through there and then get into first. That way, if you're drag racing, um, you can go right one, two, and then when you're going into three, you won't be going into first. So it's a nice little lockout, which is great because I don't plan on just doing drag racing, but it's nice knowing, okay, cool, if I wanted to do that, I would basically just tighten the screw, push it in to where I'm comfortable with it. Okay, cool, right? Pull up on here and then go over into the first and second row. And it has a nice little lockout feature. It's a nice little insurance policy. I dig it. I'm not sure if the first uh, versions of these came out with it. Um, I just know that this one does. So I don't know if there's multiple versions or if this is the only version. So either way, it's nice. As far as uh, up and down, I mean, that's third and fourth. And man, it video isn't going to do this justice. That's first, that's 
second, third, fourth, fifth, reverse. Quality piece in my opinion. Comparatively to the OEM shifter, this is this is very minimal. My issue with short shifters are that uh, the aftermarket short shifters, for the most part, some of them actually do cause some grinding. I mean, and I really feel like Evo's, uh, the shifting point is, you know, that's where I'm really connecting with the car. I really want to be able to feel that. That's why when you drive like a Honda S2K or a Corvette, you know, the shifting feels wonderful. It's just right there. I don't like shifter cables and this housing assembly, this whole new assembly just gets rid of all that play. So for this, I would have liked this to be over just a little bit more to the right, just for when it's like in static. Because when I go into fifth, it's pretty close. When I go in, or when I go over to the fifth and reverse row, it's pretty close. That's into fifth. That's into reverse. They don't make contact, but they're pretty close. I'm sure there's a way I could adjust it. Um, to where it's over a little bit more, but for how long I've been dealing with this thing, I'm just happy that this is this is where it's at, and this is this is where it's gonna stay. If it's clearing, I'm I'm a okay with it. This thing looks great. I do have to uh, trim the shifter console. I'm probably gonna get to that tomorrow. It's just a really cold, gloomy day, and you know I'm not really in a rush to not really do anything. So for now, let me clean up, let me put everything back together, and I'll get right back with you guys. I had to move in because it was uh, raining, so I'm hoping that, you know, everything is uh, something that's semi-viewable. So, got the other metal piece in, and the carpet wires, all that, uh, you know, set aside and nicely tucked. Again... This thing feels just, I don't even know how to put it into words. This thing feels great, but I need to trim the center console. And in order to do that, we have to first remove the boot. So in order to get this boot off, I'm going to flip it. And there are four little screws on the inside. So with the boot out, uh, this is just something um, that I got from InFocus. So it's just a little boot cover, so I still have the OEM boot in there. This is just this just goes over it. Um, you can tell it's seen better days. Take that out. Now we're gonna pull this in, and we're gonna try to put it on. I'm gonna see where I need to cut. So I know I need to cut to maybe about right out there, and then right through here, and then somewhere around here for the CAU shifter to fit. So I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna make some marks with a sharpie, and I'm gonna see where I need to cut, and then make my incisions. Morning after. Uh, this is too dark to film, so I did some stuff, so I figured I would just catch you guys up. This is what the center console looks like after it's been all hacked up. I can still remove my ashtray. I removed that. I just made a hole in here so that way it can actually pass over the front of the shifter while I'm installing. You're really going to have to cut into the insides and get rid of the plastic pieces so if you guys can see that there's a lot of these uh, inner plastic pieces that I really had to cut um, that way it would actually sit and this would actually sit flush it's not the greatest looking job don't get me wrong I am no Pablo Picasso but still got to clean up all that stuff I just use a little handsaw and a file the rings ended up popping up a little bit, so it's cheap plastic, so I just used some Plasti Bond overnight. I'm going to be getting uh, this piece hydro dipped, so I'm not too worried about how it looks right now. If it's scuffed up, you know, I don't, it's not going to bother me because I'm planning on redoing it anyway. Let me show you how it looks inside the car. So if you're anything like me and you're like, uh oh, I just broke my big shifter cable, I have no fear. Some JB Weld Plasti Bond is there. And it works, it shifts, it doesn't move around. Save myself the time of having to replace my uh, shifter cable. 
Just, uh, you know, before we install this. I'm quite happy with that. So for me, I've actually had to remove the radio um, piece, which I believe is you know, somewhere in here. Ah, there it is. I had to remove this piece. Just a couple of uh, screws, bolts up top. Went into fourth. Kind of have to guide it in, so that way the uh, shifter console doesn't really catch on the rug. Shift forward. And the third. And... Voila. You have a CAE shifter. You have your interior piece still. Still have plenty of room. Now uh, I just need to put everything back together. <laughs> Genuinely, man, I really like it. I really feel that Mitsubishi's really lacked in their shifter. I feel like Subaru transmissions are just they, the quality is just there. It's just it feels like how a manual should with Mitsubishi for a Enthusiast, you know rally inspired car. I would have thought the shifter would have been you know one of the bigger uh, Budgets it is what it is this shifter is uh, You know in a league of its own if there was ever a place where I wanted the quality It was gonna be when I was shifting I'm really glad I got this piece and I got it, you know, used so I didn't have like the uh, the bushings that usually come with, uh, you know, a brand new one. I didn't have the hardware. I just reused my old hardware and I just used my uh, Torx Solution uh, base bushings. The purchase itself is something that I believe is going to really change the dynamic of my driving and for the better. I'm going to try to get you guys just some close-ups in case uh, anybody who's curious of the install, you know. You have to come out a little bit over here, and then you know, just the inner plastics. You can change your knob. You just have to uh, get a five Allen key, twist this out, and then it's just a twist off. Appreciate you guys checking out my shenanigans. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys want to see some more Evo content. Got a bunch more coming this year. Have a nice day. Till next time. <laughs>